Ever since Demon pointed out the eye holes, I've never been able to go past them. It's incredibly distracting. Yeah, like I said, he, he, those like uh, those eyes, they're just like one big, like, you, you can't see shit out of that. Well known fact, uh, this episode was actually directed by uh, Shotaro Ishimon. Oh yeah, I heard about yeah. that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The same guy well, who was I actually doing the manga at the time. So there's uh, the great leader just comes in every day. He just writes kill common rider <laughs> on the list of to do things. Go to grocery store, get eggs, milk. It'll, it'll make the employees bread. super happy. Kill common rider. Yeah. Will bring joy to me. Trust me. Ooh, we're gonna get experimental with the cinematography, aren't we? Yeah, it gets a bit weird. This stuff is common in, in, in some Ultraman episodes. So. Uh, I love this part. It's their sleeper agent. Sometimes you can just be living a normal life, uh, then. General Black comes up to you and says you're a sleeper agent and you turn into a monster. That's just what happens in the Common Rider world. Oh no, is this gonna be a Samuel Art incident? Ah uh, yes. Look at him in all his glory. <laughs> Hey, you! Fuck you! No, I did. <laughs> no, I don't see it. And then he just got eat. No. Anyway, this is the creator. Yeah, he is. I love... I love he's the smartest man to ever meet Shocker. Just like you saw me. No, I didn't. <laughs> and it just runs away. This is really good um, cinematography, though. Yeah, it is. Uh, I believe this was after they released uh, a movie, and a lot of the movie. Uh, it was the same crew, and they learned a lot of how to do like the cinematography. Yeah, um, because you know a lot of the other Conrader episodes you showed me were pretty static. Yeah. Uh, this kind of feels a lot like, more like Ultraman in terms of cinematography. Uh, the last like 20 episodes uh, did a lot uh, better cinematography. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Choco. Uh, she eats. That's the joke. It's her defining characteristic. Are there any other like bad people who do stuff in this universe? Where's the Whoever the Go Rangers fight. Like I said, originally, Kamen Rider and Go Rangers happened in the same universe. Super Sentai. Now they're just in the same multiverse. They're like two branching paths. Yeah. Oh, here's the Anemo Jaguar mobile. <laughs> Wait, they made a car for him? Yeah, yeah, this is actually an important plot point in the episode. <laughs> there he goes! Uh, I... uh, he had this car all along, he just didn't realize the significance of the theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goro. Goro. Kid, Goro, plays Goro. Oh. Yeah, Goro disappeared mysteriously. The writer scout pigeons. You know, these guys have really weird voices for kids. <laughs> Shit, he does have an army. Yeah, no. <laughs> In one of the B3 episodes, they, they have, like, an entire, like, summer camp worth of, like, kids in just one area. And, and it's like, the writer scouts are, like, nationwide. Apparently, the kids in Japan not gonna—they're not gonna stand up 
Uh, yeah, they're gonna stand up to fascism, I guess. Admirable. They're like anti Hitler youth, I guess. By the way, we, uh, we rented a helicopter for this episode. I hope you know that. Wait a second. That's a miniature set. Yes. This is, this is this is going on. Yep. <laughs> we need we needed to make sure the episode was was um twenty four minutes. Yeah. We really bought a helicopter for this episode. I don't want you to know. You know, if his car wasn't so obvious. Taki, why do you just have that helicopter? Why was this not mentioned until now? Well, he was supposed to have the helicopter all along, but the FBI just took this long to get it to him. <laughs> Shit, you're actually being effective. Taki, we spent... Uh, we heard about your problem with a terrorist organization in your country. We have sent one guy. Once again, they're actually funding Shaka against communism. And, and, and this yeah. is the token resistance. <laughs> yeah. Kind By of the way, we also bought a, uh, we bought, um, you know, one of those cameras you can stick on a motorcycle. We need you to know that. They realized the episode was going short, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, could you imagine going down, like, you know, the... <laughs> you, uh, know, you, you, you stop at a traffic light. You look at the other car, yeah. there's a fucking... <laughs> yeah. Anemone. Yeah, could you imagine you're, like, hiking out here, and there's just, you know, you just see common riders, like, fuck? <laughs> That's the quest. Oh, okay. Never mind. He is an idiot. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the twist. Okay, okay. Uh, I take that back. Good, good job. Whatever the fuck you are. The Nemo Jaguar. Look, ma. No hands. <laughs> you know, this would actually be an intimidating shock if it wasn't for the costume department. Like now. There's only one. Wait a second. Probably should have done something. Those fucking helmets, man. The effect. The effect. Common Rider problem? Jump! Why did they, they explode? explode? That's what happens when soccer goons hit each other. No, I'm Common Rider. <laughs> Turn that woman, whose name I definitely know. He did it. He used camouflage. What? Look at him go. The jump cut. Did you see my camouflage? Also, this guy is a mixture of Jaguar Man. I, I just realized that. Yes, and, uh... Anemone Man. Uh, yeah. Maybe oh, that's I... where I saw that before, the Anemone Man. Yeah. Yeah. But, in that case... Yeah, i the cameraman. <laughs> No Did the anemone this... man no. also melt somebody next to the seashore? He eats people. In... What the fuck? Uh... Tentacles. Tentacles, man. How the fuck do they work?
We already kicked him. Right in the nuts. <laughs> right in the nuts. I th I thought I thought my um video was fucking up there for a second. No. We put her back in the car. Common Rider doesn't just kill them immediately. Wait, what? No. Lucky. Oh, this is a pretty good part of the episode. Turns out to be a blow-up doll. Not that far off. <laughs> This episode is very slow paced. Yeah. To be fair, I do appreciate it because Kamen Rider usually has a fast pace, but... Yeah, I didn't show it earlier, but I thought it was important. It's a very, like, different episode. What? Yup. Wow, <laughs> they, they, it took them like 84 episodes, but they won! Huh. Yeah. It was, a, it was a bold move when 2 just overtook the series again. What? He jumped. <laughs> oh, here comes a great part. <laughs> you imagine, you know. Oh my god, it, it, it's a fucking. No, it's a doll. Yeah. It's it's just a big figure of him that they that they tied to the side of it, and there's like a guy in the helicopter moving his head up and down with a string. <laughs> I do find it funny that the person who was made up of Jack, one of his components being Jaguar Man, is probably Kamen Rider's um most worthy opponent. Nice to generals, but like he's actually legitimately clever, and um, and he's yeah. fighting Comrade at a standstill. I almost killed him a few times. Ow. I always really love the um the heroic theme but play but like having a sad reprisal. I always really love that. Uh, I like the guitar that they use for it. Kinda feels like something hey, Kondo. um Kondo would actually actually play in the golf time. Yeah. Uh V3 played the guitar actually. That uh, was a you mentioned part of his character when he gets the uh, cyber psychosis for an episode and breaks his guitar when he tries to play it. So, did, did you remove the chip? He hit him really hard. It's still in there, it's just busted. Yeah. It's fine. Save them all by killing. <laughs> 